Hi everybody, welcome back to our Thursday live cooking demos on Facebook. Also to be found on um, our YouTube channel and on our website if you're looking for them. The uh, recipe for tonight should have been posted already, um, but we will post it again for you if you didn't find it. We'll make it really easy for you to find. Um, just a reminder that we are open for business, letting customers in up to 10 at a time. We do require that you keep your face completely covered while you're in here. Um, we're open 10 to 5 weekdays and Saturdays and 10 to 4 on Sundays, and we hope to see you soon. If you don't want to come into the store or you can't come into the store for some reason, we're still happy to do the curbside. We love doing curbside for people, so we're happy to help you however we can. Give us a call at 207-443-1402 if you have any questions. So tonight we're making baked stuffed haddock. Um, Maine has such great seafood and in the summer you can get great seafood, fresh seafood, pretty much all over the place. So tonight we're going to do a baked stuffed haddock. Um, it's really simple and really quick as you will shortly see. Um, so I'm going to melt some butter in a little pan in the back here. And I'm also going to get some butter melting for the stuffing. So that's about, I'm doing a half batch here, so I'm not going to mention amounts. Um, so there's some butter in here, and I'm going to add some crushed garlic or minced garlic. We've got a little bit of celery. And this is really like basic things, but if you want, this is scallions, and I like to use the green also because... Um, I like the color. So, but if you don't like scallions or you don't have them on hand, you can use a little bit of onion. You could put a little bit of uh, grated carrot in there. As with most things I do, um, it's really easy to substitute whatever you want to. Tonight I'm going to be making this with crab meat. Um, but if you prefer shrimp or if you want to mix it up and do a couple of other different things, you can do shrimp or scallops. What you want to do is cut them into pretty small pieces and then throw them in with your veggies just to let them cook a little bit. Um, you could also use, if you have leftover lobster meat, um, you could use a little bit of lobster in there. So baked stuffed with lobster stuffing would be great too. And we're just going to be doing a drizzle of, um, of oil, no, not oil, butter on the fish when we're done with it. But you could also, especially in the winter, if you wanted to make a bechamel, which is a white sauce. I think we've made it before one of our classes, but I don't remember which one. But it's just butter and flour melted, and then you put the cream or milk in it, um, lobster mac and cheese. Put cream or milk in it and let it thicken up and then you can add seafood to it. You can add some different flavorings and stuff like that. So it'd be nice in the winter if you want something a little bit heavier. But this aside from the butter is a really light dinner tonight. So that's sizzling up pretty well. And I just wanted to mention quickly a really great idea for a side dish. Um, I'm not a big microwave cooker. Like I don't go to the microwave to cook usually. I'll heat up some coffee or leftovers or whatever. But this is an awesome thing that we have from a company called Liquay. Um, and you just put a little bit of water in the bottom and put your veggies. These are beautiful green beans that I got at the farmer's market. Um, or broccoli, asparagus I did last night. But this is just going to get closed up, a little bit of water in the bottom, close it up, stick it in the microwave. These will be done to a perfect al dente in about three minutes. So it's just a really nice side dish. Um, it's healthy. Again, you get your butter here, but if you just eat these with a little butter, a little olive oil on them, you have a nice, really healthy side dish. Um, you can also serve this with baby potatoes or rice or something for a starch. Um, or a nice salad or whatever, but it just um, makes a really nice dinner. Um, so these are just softening a little bit, and I'm going to let them continue to soften. And I'm going to crush my crackers. And I just use the bottom of a drinking glass to crush them and just press down. And pretty quickly, they're all going to be nice and crushed up and of course I left my crab in the fridge so bear with me while I grab that <clears throat> and we're just gonna add our ingredients in here so I'm gonna add the crab
and I'm going to add some parsley. I'm going to add some lemon juice and some salt and pepper. Doesn't really take much. The crackers are salted. They're Ritz, which are so yummy. So it's not going to take very much salt. And just enough pepper to give it a little oomph. And then we have an egg. So the full recipe calls for a whole egg. Um, and I'm just going to whisk this up quickly. Obviously not as prepared as usual. And I think we'll put the whole egg in because what do you do with half an egg, right? Might as well just put it in there. And that's just going to kind of help the crackers and stuff stick together and everything kind of become cohesive. And butter, crackers, crab meat, egg, lemon juice, we've got all that. This is pretty well softened and you just you don't want to brown this really you just want to soften it so the flavors come out there's that and we'll mix that all together it's going to be so good and you can add more crackers if you like it more bready i like to have it a little bit um less bready a little bit of butter um just because I like all those other flavors as much as I love the flavor of the Ritz. So that's well mixed. And I have this, the uh, haddock already in here. If you wanted to use a piece of salmon or halibut or something, you could just put the stuffing right on top instead of in it um, and just bake it like that and it would come out just as beautifully. So we're gonna put this at the thinner end or the flatter and the tail end of the haddock. And we are going to, with our eggy sticky hands, get a couple of those out. So, and we're literally just rolling it up. Just gonna roll that up. And I'm just gonna stick a toothpick in to the thick end just to keep that together. And again, just rolling it. And these are gonna go in the oven. You wanna cover them with a piece of foil or if you have a casserole dish that has a lid, of course that's better because it's less wasteful. Um, and bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes and then take the foil or the lid off and give it another 10 minutes. I'm gonna put a little more butter on top you can put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top if you want to as well. Um, and so that's just gonna go in the oven and that's gonna cook. And when it has about three minutes left, I'm gonna put my beans in the microwave and I'm gonna have my rice and my potatoes. You, if you had baby potatoes, you could throw them right in the pan here, maybe cut them in half and throw them right in um, with the butter and the, um, and the haddock. You can also sprinkle a little bit of part of a paprika or something on there just to give it a little bit more color. Um, but there you go, really quick and easy dinner. Um, so we also have some wine suggestions tonight. We have um, a red, a rosé and a white because we like to cover all of our bases. This is a new Pinot Noir here on your right that we just got in. Um, and it's actually, I think, light enough that it would go really well with the fish. Um, <clears throat> not a lot of reds, that, or, or a lot of reds are a little heavy for seafood, but I think with the stuffing and everything, this would be a really nice, um, nice thing to drink with that. We also have a beautiful um, rosé from Alsace, and we have a lovely Vouvray. Um, which Mike had last night with a uh, seafood dinner, and he said it was just spectacular. So that's it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget that we're open 10 to 5 daily, except Sundays 10 to 4, and we'd love to see you here in the store. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.